Now before we start, we want to clear the area. Um, so you see that I have a couple of things out here. This is my Himalayan salt lamp and I have that lit. Um, salt is a beautiful uh, way to clear the space and the energy. So I have that lit and I love those. And this is my Shatukite stone. It's an African stone and it's very good for psychic an intuitive connection like a really strong antenna so that's a pretty big heavy stone that I have there and we want to do a few uh, crystal grids today I, I really want to help you uh, learn how to do this you want to clear your space and working with crystals is all about intention uh, we infuse the intention into the stones so that we're charging them so it's in magnifying what your intention is so that's what we're doing today. And the first one we're going to be doing here is an abundance grid. I definitely want, um, actually let's do the protection grid first. I'm thinking let's do that one first. Um, so I want to call in Archangel Michael because I want him to work with me, to inspire me to create this grid. And um, I want you to think about that too because I'm going to show you some examples of grids but I want you to be creative and go with your own. So I've pulled out some black onyx. We're going to use black onyx and we're going to create a square. Okay, we're going to bring these around. Let me just sort them out and create a square with black onyx. Okay, let's see what else we need here should have 12 up in there so you have there we go and we're just we're just bringing this shape in and as I'm creating and uh, creating this video today we have quite the storm rolling outside so you may hear that a little bit the wind is just fierce today so what a great day to create a crystal grid and and share with you and remember this is about the energy and infusing the energy so you want to get that balance so it feels right we're using sacred geometry. We're counting, let's see, we're missing. There we go, one right there, okay. So now we're going to, now we have our square, and this is with the black onyx, which is a protective, uh, dispels and releases and removes um, negative energy. We have the four, 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 four going. Uh, if you use points like this one, I'm showing you an example, then you want all the points going in the same direction. Those points narrow the focus and, in, and you're just moving around. That's right. So you're going to just um, use whatever because you don't have to make this expensive and it doesn't have to be huge. Um, we are protecting everywhere, northeast, southwest. That's what the square does. So you have the four, 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 and that's an angel thing too. Now we're going to bring in side in the middle. We're going to kind of create like a starburst with clear quartz. We have five pieces of clear quartz. We're kind of making a a star shape and the clear quartz is just a beautiful way to clear the energy inside the protective zone you see we are we are protecting it's kind of like your shielding or your bubble but we have a square and the clear quartz just clears out anything that's lower frequency inside so this is what we're doing with the intention of this and I'm feeling just a little bit more so I'm grabbing my rainbow moonstone I'm really feeling this one with Archangel Haniel right now thank you for coming in as well because I'm feeling the divine energies are coming into earth I'm really feeling that we need to protect that gentle and tender nurturing because the creation of a new world is coming through the feminine energy of the divine so we want to nurture and support that um, the moon is the moonstone is very uh, much resonating with the cycles of the moon and Archangel Haniel is the one to call on for that so this is your protective grid um, you can shift this up and do something different like I felt inspired to bring that moon energy in and you may find that you want to do it different you want to use points or uh, there's several different black stones you could use with this you could also use obsidian onyx or obsidian would be good for this one clear quartz is always a good choice it has multi multi ways that it works okay so you're infusing protection and you know you're safe the inside you're safe and all of your 
all of the outside boundaries are protected. And this would be the intention of this grid. And you, we're going to move on. We're going to move on and create another grid now. So let's make an abundance grid. Oh yes, we definitely need to create an abundance grid. With everything going on in the world today and all the stress and concerns and the fears and things like that that are being thrown out there, yeah, I, the, the protection grid is good. You don't want to get caught up in the illusion of fear. And abundance, we want abundance in all areas of our life. And don't get caught in that illusion. Choose, choose to have a life and a reality of something different. So we're going to infuse the next grid with that. So as I'm connecting with Michael, and Michael's definitely with me today, and we just had a nice little visit from Haniel. So thank you for that, Haniel. We're going to make a circle with clear quartz. And I'm using eight pieces right now. And I'm going to take them and make a nice circle. Again, if you're using points, remember, if you're going to use the points, they go in the same direction. Okay? So if you want to receive abundance, there's your, and the point, you see the point, if you want to receive, you want to go into a receive direction, like to the left. If you are um, a right-handed person, you may have to do the reverse. If you are a left-handed person, you would want to go the other way. So if you want to receive it, go to your non-dominant direction. If you want to send out abundance, like to everybody, you know, and share in the wealth, uh, send it the other way. And, and in the middle, in the middle, we're bringing in the, the money and prosperity stone, which is citrine. And we're going to create a triangle in the center. So we have the circle on the outside with clear quartz. And then we have the triangle in the center with three pieces of citrine. That's a great one for finance and abundance and, and the money matters. Now, I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little bit more with this one. Uh, I'm just listening and tapping in here so you'll hear me pause for a minute because I'm doing this with the angels and I'm allowing them to guide me. And I'm just feeling rose quartz. I'm feeling love. When I want a world of abundance in all areas of my life, I feel love is infused in that. So I've brought in rose quartz because that is a beautiful stone for the love energy. So we are going to just fill this grid in between each piece of clear quartz with love, with the quartz, with the rose quartz. So now that to me is the way that I want to live in a world of abundance, one that's filled with love in all areas of my life and it's abundant in everything that I do. This makes the most sense to me and I'm really feeling this one and I love that that's just popping in. I love creating crystal grids with the angels because not every crystal grid will be the same for that particular time in my life. So I want you to be creative with yours. I'm giving you examples. And we did two today that I felt were very important um, for the world right now, for what's happening. We had a protection grid, and now we have the abundance grid. Because no matter what's going on out there, you can choose not to be a part of that fear. So let's send love out and prosperity and protection, and let's create a world that we want to live in. I want to thank everyone so much for being with me today, and we will we will bring more to you. I have a few more that I want to bring, and uh, but we'll have them in a couple of little segments like this. So thank you for watching, and let us know if you have grids that you've created. Um, we want to share. Uh, join us over on Twitter. I'm at Jen Royster, J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R on Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. And our show is every Thursday at 11 on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Uh, we have the archives over on the website, uh, JenRoyster.com, and you can listen to those. But we want to hear from you. I want a little bit more interaction on what you're doing with your crystals. And if you have a crystal grid that's one of your favorites, share it with us so we can uh, share it with everybody else. This is all about helping each other. I want to send out a lot of love to you, and I appreciate every one of you. Namaste.